I love this stick. I don't know if anything can beat it. FP6 Pro? Maybe. Let's do some tests and see how it goes. What's up guys? Today we have two CCM Jet Speed sticks. It feels like the Jet Speed FT5 Pro just came out yesterday. It's been a great seller in our store. Lots of people love it. Today we have the all new FT6 Pro. Lots of NHL players have been using this already. Looks like a great stick. Let's dive into the specs. Let's start with the looks. This thing looks clean. It's got that nice pearlescent white with the black and red colorway. I think this will match a lot of minor hockey jerseys and it looks really sharp. The stick also comes in four colors so you can pick whichever one you want to use. This stick has a hybrid kick point, which is great for any shot in the offensive zone. Whether you're loading up a big wrister or taking a quick snap shot, it's gonna feel great. It's gonna pop right off your stick. Lots of NHL players like this kind of kick point. The FT6 Pro uses Nanolite Shield technology, which means there's two layers of thin carbon fiber sandwiched between two layers of thicker carbon fiber. This makes the stick a lot lighter. It's actually 15 grams lighter than last year's FT5 Pro with the same durability. New to the FT6 Pro is the RR100 Stiff Blade. This is a really stiff and light blade, CCM's stiffest and lightest blade. That's gonna help with your shot, it's gonna really pop off the stick, and also it's gonna help with your blade not breaking down over time. This thing's stiff. The FT6 Pro has R-shaped shaft geometry, which means it has rounded corners and concaved front and back faces. It feels really nice in the hand. It also has the FT micro feel, which are these little ribs on the bottom of the stick. It feels really nice in hand, adds a bit of texture to your grip. One immediate change I can see from last year's model is the FT micro feel actually starts a lot lower on the shaft here. As you can see on the FT5 Pro, it starts all the way up here. I'm wondering if that's to save weight because you're gonna have tape on your stick anyway, so you don't need it all the way up, just for your bottom hand there. Finally, this stick has skeleton plus taper, which helps with strength and durability of the stick. We've gone over the specs. Now let's see what kind of difference they make. We're gonna do some tests with both of these sticks and see how it turns out. Let's go. All right guys, first challenge, stick handling and shooting. We're gonna do tight stick handling through these cones. We've got a wide slalom around there. Then we're gonna do a tight turn around that far cone on the dot. I'm gonna walk out and I gotta hit a target. As soon as I hit a target, then the timer stops. Let's see what we can do. Up first, we got the FT5 Pro, old reliable. This stick's trusty, I like it a lot. Let's see how it does. Third time's a charm. 2086. 2086, all right. Stick handling felt good. Shot was kind of iffy. The FT5 Pro felt good through the cones. Stick handling felt nice. My shot was a bit off. I think that might be user error, but uh, overall, really nice feeling stick. Right off the bat, this thing feels light. I think it's gonna kill it in this challenge. Ready? Second try. 14, oh, let's go. This thing is nice. Might have to switch over to the FT6 Pro. FT6 Pro was the winner of that challenge. It feels really good. Super nice balance, really lightweight stick. And I think the stiffer blade really gives you a good puck feel. The FT5 Pro, still a nice stick, still did well, but I have to give this one to the FT6 Pro. All right guys, good old fashioned target shooting challenge. I got six pucks, I'm gonna shoot with each stick, see how many targets I can hit with six pucks. First up, FT5 Pro, our cameraman Ty's favorite stick. This thing's a weapon, I think it might do good in this challenge. for six that's pretty good that's a tough number to beat this stick feels nice there's a reason this stick was so popular last year guys it feels awesome i hit five out of six targets it felt really good great puck feel great pop i don't know that's gonna be tough to beat ft6 pro the newcomer it's one and oh in the challenge so far let's see if he can go two and oh in the target shooting challenge let's go uh-oh I 
think we might have broken a target there. Five out of six, we got a tie. It's time to go to overtime. We're having flashbacks of Canes and Panthers, but uh, I'm ready to do it. We broke a target with this stick, so uh, this thing definitely shoots hard. All right, guys, sudden death overtime. We got three pucks for each stick. There can only be one winner. Let's see what happens. The FT6 Pro broke a target earlier. Let's see if we can go up 2-0 in the challenge. That hit? All right, two out of three. That's not bad for the FT6 Pro. Let's grab the FT5 and see what happens. All right, guys, FT5 Pro. Can the top stick from last year hang on? Let's find out. No! Can't do it. FT6 Pro is the winner. It was close though. FT6 Pro only won by one shot. Both of these sticks felt great. FT6 Pro is the champ so far. All right guys, target challenge over. It was a close one. Both of these sticks shot really well. FT5 Pro was only one shot off tying the FT6 Pro. Had to go to sudden, over, sudden overtime to figure it out, but uh, FT6 Pro is the champ. Felt really good. Puck came off the stick nice. Easy to hit the targets. Feels good. All right guys, challenge number three, the hardest shot. We got our radar behind the net. I'm gonna walk in and take three slap shots with each stick. Let's see which one shoots the hardest. I have a feeling it's gonna be the FT6 Pro. FT5 Pro, one of the best shooting sticks of last year. I got three slap shots, let's see how hard I can go. Woo! 80, that's pretty good. Let's do a couple more. I thought I broke the stick for a second. <laughs> 75, pretty good. Last shot. Really gonna lead into this one. 79. All right guys, 80 was the high score with the FT5 Pro. That's a pretty hard shot for me. Uh, let's grab the FT6 Pro, see how it does. FT6 Pro, hardest shot challenge. It's gone 2-0 and in the challenges so far. Let's see if we can go 3-0. and I got a good feeling. All right, here we go. Let's see it. 77, I gotta beat 80 here. Shot number two, let's do it. Seventy-four, come on. Let's go, I gotta beat 80. Seventy-nine, no way. One off from 80, that's tough, but it's close. Pretty neck and neck competition between the FT6 Pro and the FT5 Pro. The FT5 Pro hit 80 miles per hour, which is pretty good. I was just one off with the FT6 Pro at 79, so really close showdown. FT5 Pro won this one, but overall, FT6 Pro went two and one in the challenges, so it's the winner. All right guys, it was a good challenge. FT6 Pro won at two to one. I wanted to upgrade to one of these sticks myself. That 15 grams of weight savings really makes a difference. You can feel it when you pick these two sticks up. Lots of pop, so it's awesome. Although the FT5 Pro didn't win today, this is still a great stick and we still have a lot in stock at our store. So make sure you stop by and check it out. I can still recommend this stick highly, even though this one won the challenges. Thanks for joining us on this challenge. It was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to grow our YouTube channel. We're putting TikToks on there. We got lots more videos like this on the way. Make sure you follow us along, it's going to be fun. 